Okay, welcome back. This is video number nine, I believe. This is the exhibition poster part three, if we can keep all those designations correct. Sorry about being interrupted like that. Fairly important. All right, so here we are, and I'm trying to get into the normal mode. I want to arrange these different elements so that they have different sets of priorities. And a big black box with white type is kind of annoying, right? So I thought of a way to try and minimize that, keep the clarity that that gives while reducing the overall impact of that box, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do, since I'm bleeding the image off either side, is that I'm going to grab this box and drag it out to my bleed lines. Now, remember the bleed line is the red line on the edge, the black line is the edge of the paper, and the purpley magenta line is the margin that we put on. And in this case, I'm not even using margins. All right. So let me get into preview mode and say, hmm, how does that look? Huge, big, dark, too strong. Right. So if I take that black ink that this box is made from, and I reduce the density of it, that might work. Okay. So I can do that. Remember with in design, we're not working with RGB colors, we're working with CMYK, the colors of ink, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So I'm just gonna tell the printer to put a less dense version of black on there, otherwise known as gray to you and me. So if I bring that density down, it makes it look like it's become transparent. If I bring it too far, then I lose the readability of my type and make it too heavy, yeah, it's a bit dark. So uh, I was looking at around 70%, seems pretty good to me. Now, does that white type look all right? What would happen if I made it black? So black on dark gray. So this is the kind of trying out different things that you can do. No, that doesn't look so great. What happens if we Bring this lower. Okay, still not crazy about that. So how about we bring that density back up to about 70%. Click on my type tool. Make that type back to white. Okay. Now, does that create a balance? I've got same font in the headline and in my information part. They're also the same color, so that gives them a bit of consistency. I get a big impression from this image, which fills the whole A3 page. But I have this type set off with this graphic element of using a box. It creates a different effect where, that, um, where it runs over the picture. And then I have the type running out from it. So in my view, that type clear enough, it's readable enough, stands out as a graphic element, so it makes a decent balance. Now, should that headline be bigger? Bring it down, set it in the middle of the page. Certainly don't like that. So this is the kind of moving things around you have to try out, ask people, see what other people think and decide what you want to do. But if you work through four or five different versions, it's going to give you good practice on using the tools. You get to try these different using color and such, and you're going to find yourself trying to select that type when you ended up selecting the box behind it. And, oh no, I've made a new box, and all kinds of elements of frustration are going to come in. So it does take quite a bit of practice. So anyway, Give it a go, and we'll work through a few things in class when we uh, get our computers installed and making progress. All right. See you.